Earlier this week, uh, we were the victim of a, a bout of extreme vandalism. Someone really went to town on the lorry. They've slashed both the curtains and they've smashed all the windows. I think the drivers give someone the ump and they've, taken, they've erroneously taken it out on my truck. I'm going to try and find out who it is and have a chat with them. Um, but what we've done, we had the, had the windows done yesterday. A good firm over in Leighton Buzzard. They came up nice and quickly, done all three. That's all super duper tidy. And they did it, and a nice firm as well. So we didn't need to replace them with the rubbers, so you saved yourself 22 quid. Didn't have to say that, so you did. So today, me and Al are going to have a go. We've got all the kit, and we're going to have a go at repairing the curtain today. See if we can get it all sorted out today, and that way we can get it back on the road on Monday. Because in this game, you can't be off the road for long. You know, you can't be this costing you dough to be off the road. So, this has got no idea how long it's going to take. I've got uh, no idea. I've never ever done it before. It's all going to be an absolute learning curve. But Al's pretty good at this kind of stuff. He's got some experience. He used to do windows and he used to do flat roofing. And he's kind of he's kind of a he's a very technical, mechanical kind of guy. So, fingers crossed, we can get it sorted. Let's go melt some curtains. Right, you're going to need four things to do this curtain job. You're going to need webbing that's the white stuff that that goes down the strips that run down the uh, the supportive bars that run down the side of a curtain show you that in the video you're going to need the plastic the the plastic sheeting which is smooth on one side and rough on the other side one side shiny one side's dull you want to heat up the dull side because that side's got the sticky stuff in you're going to need a heat gun you can get proper heat guns this is the one with the um the directional thing on the front of it that should help warm it up a little bit um this is just a normal a normal sort of wallpaper stripping gun they do do specific ones for curtains but we're hoping this does a trick quite nicely and a rubber roller it's got to be rubber because otherwise when you're heating the um the webbing and you start to roll with a plastic roller that's going to get hot it's going to melt it's no good ah and you may also need an extension lead let's get to work so what you do to get the curtains off, you've got your ratchet strap there. Release your ratchet strap as you would in any normal curtain. And then up the top there, there's like a bolt or there's like a, a little latch thing with a hammer. You can either unbolt it or take the hammer and that will free up the track. And then what you do is you just pull the curtain off one at a time. Dum, dum, dum. As you pull it off, lie it on the bed. As you lie it on the bed, if you drag it along the bed, so that the inside is facing up, you'll end up with a curtain lay, laying across the bed with the inside facing up. You want to go from the inside because um, it makes it much smoother, otherwise it looks a mess on the outside. You know, it's like if you mend your trousers, you turn them inside out first, didn't you really? Get it as flat as you can, get the heat gun going, get melting. So here we are at the yard, we've reversed it down. We've got a bit of power coming out of the unit over there. And uh, Al is currently working with the heat gun and the webbing. We're going to go along the curtain and we're going to glue it all together. Then we get the blue stuff. We stick that over the top. We glue that. And then hopefully it'll all be back up and running. And I'll try and show you how to glue your curtain together as we go along. Still working? Yeah. Cool. Just heat both sides. This is actually better without that directional thing on the front. And what you do, hit the button, one, two, three, out and out, bum, 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 number three, clicks up. One, two, three. So it's space gun. It's not like space guns, like heat guns. Calm down, Peter. Um, and then it'll make a noise and then it'll calm down a bit. And when it calms down, it means that that is up to temperature. Get that nice and close to the webbing and nice and close to the plastic. What you can do, you can almost make an envelope in the plastic. So it like it makes like a crease, a seam. And you get that right in the seam, that warms it up really quickly. That makes it going a lot quicker. So we heat the, the bit first. The roller. Got the roller, yeah. And then we're gonna, we and then we heat both sides of that thing now. Get it tacked on at the end. 
Right. Roll with that one there. Roll with it. Just the first, yeah, yeah, couple, yeah, yeah, first yeah. couple of inches. Just so it's stuck. And I'll turn the gun back on. Was it over the, over here? Quite tripped here. You got the fuse rod. Probably this. this is press, the, press the red button. That's right. I bet your fuse in here is gone. Uh, yeah. Right now the fuse in the heat gun's gone. All the fuse in the heat on the extension lead's gone. So. Um, you want to, you, if you're going to do this, you're going to need a proper strong extension lead. Apparently that's that, that extension lead. It's a 10 amp extension lead and we need a 30 amp extension lead because the gun's really powerful. So we're now going around to see the professionals around the corner who lent me the gun and the roller, my mate Ian, to see if we can borrow a better extension lead. Turns out the extension lead was fine, but instead in the unit in here that we're using, which looks like a TARDIS, um, don't ask me why, I've got a TARDIS thing going on here. Um, there was an extension plug changed into extension plug, swapped into extension plug, so now we've fused one of the plugs in there, and we've now when we've finished doing the truck, got to work out which plug we fuse and put everything back together again. Yay! More work at the end of the day. Fabulous. Roll up. 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 It's just corner, it's just corner, okay. Just do things feel like we have some sort of stickage. Looks like it, yeah, probably better than the other one, aren't they? It's pretty good. Right. Let's get a little bit more done. Don't want to go over the line here, right? Getting that bit done. Right, stop. It's just so when you're pulling on it, it doesn't it's, it's stuck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is pretty good. You can see the marks from the um... Yeah, just like it's like the roofing, mate. Just from a heat. Well gun. this should give it a lot more strength, shouldn't it? Slightly, slightly squiggly between the joints. We might, yeah. we might have to cut those joints and redo them. Oh. Yeah, but you're living and learning, aren't you? Yeah. Yeah. So. Right. So I mean, we're getting shrink up. So let's let's do it. Right, we we put the curtains back on now. Um, I could have videoed it, but when you're in the middle of doing the job. You kind of, and there's someone else, and you know, I've got up a big lad and me up another ladder. I'm trying to hold a metal pole. We're trying to put the little blue uh, tracky wheels in the holes. And you go, you go, I'll stop a minute. I'm just gonna, just gonna get the camera out. So we kind of, but this is it. This is the finished job. So I've, what I've done is I've moved it, parked it around the corner, and then uh, let, let, let's um, let's have a look, see uh, what we've got here, shall we? So this is the scene. This, this is it all the way along. You can see there. It's all uh, you what you can do what you can do afterwards get the heat gun and the roller and go along the top but if you keep it nice and tight all the way you shouldn't have to do that so so this is the seam going all the way along the lorry there all the way to where they made the great big rip at the back and this is it on the other side there you go that's the seam all the way along right like that that job took us we started about quarter past nine in the morning totally unprepared and if it wasn't for my friend ian who's super duper prepared and he mate if you're watching this once again thank you so much for your help we really really appreciate it in fact he came around the back when we said we've done one side of the curtain and i said actually it looks pretty good and he goes i'll be the judge of that and him and his mate come around they went Actually, I wasn't expecting to be anything like as good as that. Now, to bear in mind, a replacement pair of curtains, you've got to be looking at, what, 600 quid? The materials cost us around about 60 quid. That was for three metre squared patch, um, the blue patch curtain material and a large roll of webbing. It's not easy to come by this stuff. We actually had to send a driver, the one whose lorry got vandalised, fair enough, uh, up to Grimsby to collect it. But you had to do that to get it down as quick as we could to get it done and get it back on the road. But like I say, I think that's done a very good job. The webbing is very strong. It's actually done decent size. You're talking about, about, what would I say? Six inch strips, I would say, from which goes like from there to there on the inside. Um, yeah. That's it. Yeah, so it's, um, yeah, all, in, all, all good. And that means she's gonna be back on the road on Monday, when a job from Biggles Wade. 
chance to pay to recoup some of the damage we've done and a chance to take care and take money.